Hi everyone, I'm Elle. Welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi! Feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I upload weekly. Today we're diving into a topic that's a little different from my usual content, but it's super important, which is politics, elections, and so fashion. Yeah, you heard that right. There is a brand new congressional so fashion caucus that is set to shake up and fight maybe against fast fashion and its environmental impact. So let's break it down. So from what I understand on June 27th, 2024, Democratic lawmakers and representatives announced the first ever Congressional Slow Fashion Caucus. This is a pretty big deal because it's the first time we're seeing a dedicated effort from Congress to tackle fast fashion, which has been wrecking havoc across the world for people and planet. And the caucus is being led by Congresswoman Shelley, a Democratic representative of Maine, coming together with other legislators like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Marie, don't know how to say that one, Pettis. And these founding members are coming from across the nation with the mission to address fast fashion through policy efforts. So Representative Shelley explained that textile waste is one of the fastest growing waste streams in the US and is responsible for more carbon emissions than all international flights and maritime shipping combined. Now, the So Fashion Caucus is a legislative caucus where elected Congress members have an opportunity to meet others with shared policy interests and objectives. And it's been proven an effective way that legislators can push action around a given policy issue. Legislative caucuses have grown significantly in popularity since their inception in the early 1800s, and they can be partisan, bipartisan, or even multi-partisan. The Republican and Democratic caucuses at both the state and national levels are are the largest and most well known, yet there is honestly a caucus for anything. And in the case of the So Fashion Caucus, Democratic legislators are pushing for education and policy efforts that will promote the reuse, repair, and recycling of textiles. They have explained that they are eager to use this framing as a way to push the fashion industry to embrace a circular economy. However, the caucus is yet to introduce any form of legislation, although Representative Jill Takuda says that the caucus has engaged in several conversations with members of Congress to come together to raise awareness of the issues in the industry and they plan to keep the momentum going by engaging not only with fellow members of Congress but with constituents, industry leaders, civil society, and farmers and also ranchers. And the caucus members believe that when we better understand the impact our clothing has on the climate then we're more equipped to create solutions. The caucus is currently composed of all Democrats, but Representative Jill is anticipating that some of her colleagues across the aisle will join. She hopes that this caucus can be a way to work on legislation, to elevate legislation that colleagues have already put together like the Fabric Act and the Fashion Act and hold more educational briefings with her colleagues. Now, what's interesting is how this caucus is bringing together so many different voices from big companies like Patagonia to online thrift giants like ThreadUp to garment worker rights organizations like the Garment Worker Center. And it all seems like they want to see a fashion industry that's more sustainable and fair, even if their sources of interest may be different. However, the point is everyone jumping on board should in theory be aligned with the principles of the caucus, which are the following. To incentivize the apparel industry to promote repair and recycle, to develop circular economy policies to keep clothes in longer use, promote textile reuse and recycling infrastructure because honestly, let's face it, the systems right now are not cutting it, um, raising public awareness about the environmental impact of fast fashion, bringing textile production back to the USA to reduce our carbon emissions and revitalize local industries, to support sustainable fibers because not all fibers are created equally. 
But the big question from this is, will this new caucus make a difference? We've seen proposals in the past, but have only gotten stuck in committee. So honestly, there's some skepticism from me, especially when the US will elect a new president soon, which can affect the progress made from this caucus. But Representative Shelley seems hopeful and has explained in an interview that slow fashion is a bipartisan issue that affects all of us. Everyone wears clothing. Other representatives in the caucus have recently introduced bipartisan legislation to support domestic textile reuse and recycling and the efforts found in other countries. However, even with the strong push from the So Fashion Caucus and the growing demand for sustainability from citizens, real change is hard to imagine. And I have many questions about this caucus. For example, what sustainable fashion policies will be prioritized by the caucus? How much brand slash business influence will, will be present in the caucus? How will that influence its function? Who will be in charge of the much needed research, innovation, and change that is needed to push solutions forward? And are the caucuses focus on educational efforts only going to delay proactive action. Honestly, my main takeaways after looking through the press releases and the mi little media they've done and my questions is that I have a sinking feeling that the caucus's focus is on merely educational work, pushing the blame on individuals versus pushing for systemic change. I also think that the caucus's approach with business partners such as Pediconia, which has been facing a lot of controversy right now and threat of, is also a worrisome sign as they can wield the direction of the caucus through money, but I have no idea if they're making monetary donations. And in addition, the tone of the members is not as serious and as focused as I would like it to be. Representative Jill explained once that I think we've just got to be intentional in our ask and show that this is an opportunity to find some common ground over a topic that's not too controversial. I would hope, right? This is not something where there's strong political lines in the sand. However, I disagree with this. Fashion is inherently political, as is everything else. Politics can't be neatly divided into certain topics, especially when fashion has been built from legacies of colonial power and extraction. It can be traced back to the earliest colonies and states that relied on slave labor for the production of cotton, which was essential in clothing production. Also, I should point out that members of the So Fashion Caucus, such as Representative Bettis, have explained that high quality American-made clothing isn't just inherently fashionable, it's a core part of building wealth in the middle class. When I have to replace work boots every few months rather than a quality pair that can last for years, my family loses out. If this statement were to become true, it would mean more local manufacturing jobs would be needed to be brought back and a strong cultural shift towards durable, safe clothing, not only for middle class families, but working class families. It could be made possible, but business partnerships would seriously need to be reconsidered and honestly end those that have wrecked havoc on economies and communities across the globe. And this would mean addressing the USA's role and responsibility in dumping tons of Western clothing in the global south as seen in the Chilean desert. However, this won't be possible if Congress, such as these representatives, only focus on educational efforts. We need proactive and strong action that pushes systemic change to take on the fight that needs to happen. This could start off by pushing for regulative policies that force brands to be sustainable for the better of our people and the planet. Lastly, Representative Shelley explained that so fashion is not a contentious topic in Congress, yet millions are being made from the industry with its heavy reliance on fossil fuels to make its plastic-based clothing products. And dare I say, Republicans will surely get mad that the Dems are pushing their nose in the private sector and for interfering with companies and brands that they may honestly be heavily profiting off of. So what do you think? Will this congressional slow fashion caucus be the game changer we need or is it just another political promise? 
let me know in the comments below and if you want to stay updated in all things so fashion politics and ethics and fashion please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up peace and love oh.